Hey everybody, this is Alex the SolarWorks Geek bringing you a question from a reader at the SolarWorks Geek blog at www.dswgeek.com. Zach writes, One thing we just cannot figure out how to do is this. We often want to draw a single part then split it into two separate halves independently. Is there some easy trick to do this in SolarWorks? Well, Zach, the short answer is this. Yes, you can. The command is called split part. So here we're going to show you how to use it. To illustrate how to use the split part function to create two independent halves of a solid model, we're going to create a hollow Easter egg, the kind of plastic ones you get uh, filled with candy and a bunch of other junk. So here we have a 3D model of our egg. So we're going to, in this case, we're going to hit the top plane create a sketch on the top plane. So with the sketch active click on the S button to get a line and we're just going to go a vertical line coincident to the sketch origin. So here we go there. So in a surface click on the extrude command. If you're not familiar with uh, extruding surfaces it's just like a regular extrude command so we're going to go to midpoint here and we're going to drag this arrow out so I don't care about the size of it as long as it completely cuts the part Let's say OK so there we go just straight down the middle simple thing now in the pull down here in the insert features we're going to go to split and in the split property manager it's asking you for the trimming surfaces we're going to select on the surface we created and then just say cut part now we can stop there and it will create the uh, two solid bodies in this part file but we want to have two separate files created so here we're going to click on this and we're going to name these two bodies so the first one is going to be the egg top and the next one is going to be egg bottom there we go we got our two halves named and just say OK it's going to go through and create the two separate files just a second now we're done with this part so we no longer need this we can go ahead and close it you can save it if you want if you want to create another part later so we got the first part here open that's the egg bottom now we're going to do on this is hollow it out just like a plastic egg would be done so in insert features we're going to go to shell in the parameters we're going to set the material thickness on this part to be fifty thousandths and we're going to remove this top face so that's the open end of the hollow part now these eggs won't fit together unless you have some way and if you look in the plastic parts those plastic eggs you get at the store they actually have a little lip and groove on there so we're going to create a sketch on this part right here click on the outside surface click S and do offset entities we're going to go with the 25 thousandths groove reverse so there we got the sketch extrude this down let's go 20 thousandths sounds like a good number so we got the bottom of the egg done so we'll go ahead and save that control tab and we'll open up the other model and we're going to do the same thing on this part here in the pull down insert features shell once again this is going to be 50 thousandths material thickness and we're going to select the top face again to create another hollow part. Now since we have the groove on the other part we're going to have a lip on this one so we're going to select that surface again create a sketch this time we're going to select the inner edge click the S yes button and click on convert entities click the sketch S again offset this one's going to be 25 thousandths as well say OK and this time we're going to extrude it up 20 thousandths as well and control s 
there we go we got two parts created but now we're just going to drop these into an assembly so select on make assembly from part click on your assembly and doesn't really matter what order we put them in so we're just going to put these in at the default location uh, don't even worry about made in them I'm just showing you this case so we're going to click on that one the S button insert components and then click on the other side hit OK there we go we got a nice simple assembly and we can show you how that looks when we click on there and you can see how it's has a the groove and everything else in there well Zach I hope that answers your questions and if anybody has any questions please send me an email to blog at the swgeek.com I will respond with an email or blog post or some way even make it as a video and make sure you also check out www.thuswgeek.com the SOLIDWORKS Geek site has tons of SOLIDWORKS tips and tricks that will help you in your everyday usage of SOLIDWORKS also make sure you check out on Wednesdays the so Standards Wednesdays series that offers ASME standards assistance and how to use them in SOLIDWORKS well that does it for today once again this is Alex Ruiz the SOLIDWORKS Geek and thank you for watching